Hi there, my call sign is Lucky, and I've been in TAW since 2010. In this video, I'm going to talk about a critical part of what has made TAW a successful gaming community since 2001. TAW brings together people from all over the world. Why do we come to TAW? Obviously, to play games. But why do people stick around? What is it about TAW that has made it endure when so many other gaming groups have just faded into the past? There are a lot of reasons, but a central one is the values we share. Our Code of Ethics discusses this. There's a lot in there. There's a section about conduct that gets into some details. And you can see that in the description below as well. But what I want to discuss today is the idea of respect. It's critical for all TA members to treat each other respectfully, despite the fact that we come from different cultures, have different perspectives, and don't agree on everything. By joining the TAW community, we agree to respect other members, period. If you can't commit to respecting every TAW member, you should look for another group. So what does being respectful look like? It's pretty much common sense. We don't insult each other. We agree not to talk about politics or religion. Those topics are just too full of passion sometimes, so we don't get into them. And we try to avoid language that offends other people. We want to have an atmosphere where people are comfortable playing games together. That's all it really is. It's kind of like the adult version of what we learn as toddlers in school. Play nice together. Because different people have different sensibilities, we all have to be thoughtful about what we say. Sometimes just the vocabulary we use can be really offensive to others. We don't tolerate any degrading slurs, nothing about race, nationality, sexual orientation, religious values, etc. And while profanity is not forbidden, we want to be respectful of others' values when we use it. Certain phrases mean nothing to one person, but have a serious religious meaning to others. So it's not a good idea to use any profanity that includes the word God or the name of any religious figure. And religious language isn't the only thing to be considerate about. Any profanity can be a problem when used in excess. So in general, it's wise to be a little conservative in your language choices. Kindness and respect should be our default attitudes. Now, because we all have different backgrounds and values, it's inevitable that there will be times when someone says something that offends someone else. How do we handle this? Let's look at some possible scenarios. The first scenario is very simple. Person A says something that offends person B. Let's assume that person A doesn't realize that what they said offended person B. Obviously, person B is going to have to be the one to bring up the concern. Generally, the best approach is to speak up right away. But if the offended person is really upset, waiting might be better. The way the concern is brought up is also important. Some approaches only make things worse. An accusatory tone is not likely to get a constructive reaction. Trying to explain the concern in a constructive tone is more likely to produce positive results. Speaking from an I perspective is helpful. If someone brings a concern to you, try to listen to them to understand what their concern is. Sometimes it's challenging to avoid becoming defensive in a situation like this, but try to get past that and hear what they're saying. Then what? If person A is receptive to person B's concerns, B should thank A for listening, and both can move forward. If person A is not receptive, then it might be time for person B to talk to their chain of command about the situation. Similarly, if a member is offended by something another member says, and they feel they are unable to bring it up in a calm, constructive way, asking their chain for, of command for help is a good idea. And what should leadership's responsibility be? First, there should be a clear, well-known standard method for reporting concerns. When a member brings a concern to a leader, it's the leader's job to listen to understand and then ask clarifying questions if they need to. The leader doesn't need to take a side in the issue. A leader's role here is to facilitate communication and understanding to create a comfortable culture for each member. Sometimes this will mean a one-on-one -on -one conversation with individuals, and sometimes a bigger conversation with all the people involved. Whatever the approach, the leader's role is to try to help everyone be comfortable playing together. 
A leader isn't sure how to deal with the situation can always ask up for help up their chain of command. If a positive understanding can be reached, the leader should tell the members involved that they will check back with them in a week or a month to see how things are going. Don't assume that everything is done and over with. And if the leader has trouble finding a positive conclusion, they again should go up their chain of command for more help. To wrap up, here are some key things to keep in mind. One, we all need to aim to be considerate of the members around us, many of whom have different values than we do. Two, when bringing up concern with someone, use the first person, the I perspective, and avoid being accusatory. Three, if someone brings a concern to you, listen to understand, not to argue. TAW is a great gaming community because we all work together to make it one. Keep up the good work.